Today we're checking out three chords and three strum patterns. <laughs> The three chords we're gonna check out today is our G major, E minor, and C major chord. So to play the G major, we're gonna take our first finger on the second fret, fifth string, and then place our second finger on the sixth string, third fret. From here, we're gonna take our third finger, put it on the second string, third fret, and place our pinky directly under it on string one, fret three, giving us a G major. The next chord we're gonna check out is an E minor. For this, we'll take our first finger, second fret, fifth string, and we'll take our second finger, second fret, fourth string, playing all other strings open, giving us an E minor. Our third and final chord is gonna be a C major chord. For this chord, we're gonna take our first finger, first fret, second string, our second finger, second fret, fourth string, and our third finger, third fret, fifth string, strumming from our fifth string down, giving us a C major. So all three chords, G major, E minor, and C major. First pattern we're gonna check out today is down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Now we're gonna use the same three chords we learned earlier, starting with the E minor, doing the pattern one time. Down, 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 up, down, up. Transitioning to our C major, leaving our second finger, doing the strum pattern one time. Down, 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 up, down, up. Now moving all fingers to our G major, doing the same strum pattern twice. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. All together we get. Number two. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? Classic song? I think. But we're gonna start this one off with the C major, doing the pattern twice. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Transitioning to the G major, doing the strum pattern two times. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Finishing off on the E minor, doing the strum pattern four times. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All together we get. For our third and final pattern, we are gonna go root, strum, strum, root. So, our example for this, we're gonna start on our G major chord. We're gonna pick string six, just the root of the chord, and then we're gonna go down, up. So it's root, down, up, root, down, up. Doing that pattern four times on G major. Now moving that to our E minor, doing the same thing. Root, down, up. Doing that four times. And our third and final chord will be the magical C major. Doing the same thing, but starting on string five. Root, down, up. Repeating that eight times. All together, we get. Now 
And if you get bored, you can put all three strum patterns, all three chord progressions together, starting with our first one. Down, 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 up, down, up. Going to pattern number two. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And our third pattern. I hope that was fun. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much and keep on rocking.